So this seems like it's a joke. It seems like it's fake. I swear to you, this is a real story. Apparently, CNBC, while discussing the Democratic primary, put up the wrong picture of Andrew Yang and of Tulsi Gabbard. You can see it here. You got, uh, they put Kirsten Gillibrand for Gabbard, and they put a guy by the name of, I don't know if it was Jeff Yang or John Yang, but they put that dude, a random dude, for Andrew Yang. What the hell, man? <laughs> I mean, that's inexcusable. So, listen, I mean, this, I'm, this is where the question comes in. Is it nefarious, or is it just really dumb staffers who don't follow this stuff closely and just slapped a picture up there? It's possible it's either one. It's possible that they got somebody working in the graphics department, uh, you know, or is a is a backup producer who was producing the show that day and just threw it up there and, yeah, I get yeah, that's it. Go ahead. That's possible, but it's also possible, if not likely, that they're like, yeah, I just don't like them. Well, I mean, I'm, I guess it's also possible that somebody's just trolling. But if it was trolling, you would expect not just these two candidates. It just so happens to be the case that two of the more anti-establishment candidates are the ones who get this treatment. So that leads me to believe it's not a troll. It's either total incompetence or I think more likely is it's nefarious. It's nefarious. They don't like Andrew Yang. They don't like Tulsi Gabbard. And they are throwing them under the bus here and treating them as super irrelevant as they've done every step of the way, mind you. Not just CNBC, but the media, by and large, has treated Andrew Yang like a joke and treated Tulsi Gabbard like a traitor. You know, that that's how they've covered them. I mean, look at... I, there should be a quantitative analysis of the stories about those two. Because in the case of Tulsi Gabbard, all the time is, oh my God, you love... Uh, uh, you love dictators. You love Bashar al-Assad in Syria. Why are you an apologist for genocide? Oh my God, you're, you know, a Russian plant. Like, these are the stories about Tulsi Gabbard. You have Kamala famously saying about her, like, she's not a top-tier candidate like I am. Mm. Mm, that's funny. Look at, Would you look at this? Who's still in the race and who's not? Interesting. Uh, in the case of Andrew Yang, they 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 view him as like a crazy person and a pie-in-the-sky guy because he's in favor of universal basic income. But that's not crazy. That's not pie-in-the-sky. In fact, even Milton Friedman, who's this right-wing economist, supported a version of universal basic income. It's actually a very, you know, straightforward and moderate policy. They have it in Alaska already, and they're doing wonderfully over there. So I think the fact that he does a thousand dollars a month thing, they were like, oh, please, please. And the fact that he wasn't involved in politics before, but it's not just that because Tulsi's a congresswoman and they still treated her like crap. So I don't know what it is. Whenever you make mouth noises that aren't pro-establishment, they come after you. And that's why they've treated Bernie Sanders terribly. They've treated Tulsi terribly. They've treated Andrew Yang terribly. Now everybody knows I have way more disagreements with Andrew Yang um, than I do with Bernie. I have way more disagreements with Tulsi than I do with Bernie. I have way more disagreements with Yang than I do with Tulsi. Um, but that's not the point of this conversation. The point is, th it's not a thing this late in the race to put up the wrong picture for the candidates. That is inconceivable, unimaginable, incomprehensible. <laughs> so, I, I mean, I lean towards thinking it's nefarious and they just don't like them. Um, I lean in that direction over incompetence, but I don't know, man. I'll ask you guys. What do you guys think? Is it incompetence or is it nefarious? Is it we hate them, so, so we're going to do this? Or is it, you know, some idiot staffer who's just, you know, because I, be I might be a little bit too conspiratorial in saying it's nefarious. I don't know. That's why I'm asking this question. That's why I'm posing this. But suffice to say, I'm absolutely shocked that this happened at this late date, at this late date. They've been in the race for so long. They're hanging in there. They outlasted many establishment candidates. And um, this is how they're treated. It really is something else.